Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Today I got a GFAL Games for a Living update for you guys. It's been a while since I've covered a video just on this project. I've mentioned it in several of my other videos, but want to do another dedicated video to get you caught up on the project and what's going on with it. And my price predictions for this one for uh, the bull run coming up in 2025. So I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. All right guys, let's jump into it. All right, currently GFAL at about 1.6 cents. It's been kind of in this range for the last month or so here, ever since June. It did dip down to like right at one penny here. Would have been a good time to pick some up because you know, as you see back in April, right after it first launched, it was down in this half a penny range. I don't see it getting back down in that range again. Uh, it's possible, but I'm, I'm thinking that this late in the game, it's probably likely to just keep creeping up here and up to the Bitcoin halving. There's a possibility if we get a big correction in September or later this year that it might come back down to a penny or um, maybe slightly under a penny. But I I don't know if we'll get to see that half a penny price point again. If it does, I'm definitely going to scoop up a bunch more if, if we get lucky and pick that up. But right now, I realize there's not a lot of tokens in supply. It's like 7% currently. So there's still quite a bit of tokens that are going to come into circulation as we get closer to the bull run. I think it's going to be, I think I, I think I read somewhere it's going to be close to like 50% uh, or 60% of the tokens in circulating supply by in 2025, something like that, if I'm correct on that. Uh, might be getting it mixed up with another project like Myria, but they may have similar uh, token releases. I, I think this one's releasing like 2% every month or something similar to some of the others. But I might be wrong on that, so don't correct me. I'm just thinking that off the top of my head right now. Uh, but I want to go to the website here and show you. They did add two more games that they're building, this Jump Pump and Soccer Legends, since I did my last video. Um, these two don't really look that exciting to me. I think they're just... Um, something fun to add to the platform. They're still really focusing on this Elemental Raiders games right now. And this is still, uh, they've they've launched it on several different platforms already in the beta, beta mode, just in certain areas of the world to, for testing purposes mostly, and to make sure they get all the bugs and stuff out of the game before they do an official launch on it, which is, you know, smart of them to do that. That's pretty standard across the gaming industry. Uh, if we go to, down here, they shows all their uh, all the all the articles and stuff that they're featured in Forbes, Yahoo Finance, CoinDesk, Business Insider, so on and so forth. And they've got the GFAL token link here, and it just kind of explains more. Uh, you know, the exchanges you can buy it on. I pick it up on Maxi. That seems to be the easiest for me. Um, but you can also get it on Pancake Swap if you're familiar with that on the Binance Smart Chain. For Maxi, if you're in the United States, you may have to use a VPN to uh, use it. When I first signed up, you didn't need a VPN, uh, but it seems like now you do need a VPN to, to sign up for Maxi if you haven't signed up for it already. And if you do want to sign up for Maxi to buy this or, or one of the other tokens uh, that I've talked about, I, I have an effect. Uh, referral link in the description of the video you can use that um, I think it's supposed to give me some kind of a referral commission or something based off trading volume but I've had people use it and I haven't never received anything so I don't, I'm not sure exactly how it works maybe it just saves on trading fees or something because the trading fees on there are really low they're like one tenth of a percent or something so they're super low trading fees on on Mexi and it's a real easy platform to use so you can pick it up on there uh, let's look at the Elemental Raiders game here. They've been doing uh, Apple uh, iOS soft launch. And if you look at the video here, this is really a high quality game.
So it's like a free to play, free play to earn game. So it, it, it's really nice for people that they can actually play it and earn tokens eventually. Uh, I don't know if it's going to launch like that at first when it launches on mobile or or if they're just doing a Web 2 version and then into Web 3, but it sounds like they're going to be using Web 3 on it uh, after launch at some point. Uh, and it's, it says it's a collectible card games and multiplayer RPG kind of combined in one. So it's a strategy game where you can try to get the best uh, team of elemental raiders together to beat the different uh, bosses and uh, quests in the game with, with your team. And you can also do PvP based fighting with it. There's a bunch of people playing this all over the world right now. It's not available here in the United States yet, but eventually at some point I'm sure it will be. And it'd be cool to check it out at some point. Once they get the bugs worked out on this, they I think they, they're they doing like um, some kind of tournaments right now where you can play season one. I think that ends in September 5th or something like that for people who are playing it currently. And then they'll get rewards for playing the, the pre uh, testing version, uh, the early version of the game. They'll get, they'll get rewards for playing that and testing out the game. But they want to make sure everything's working properly before they do their actual public launch, which is smart. Now, what's strange to me is I've seen some people out there in the comments of my channel about GFAL saying that it's a scam. I mean, honestly, if you don't, if you think this project is a scam, you really haven't even researched into it for five minutes. I mean, I'm serious about that. It's very clearly a very legitimate and high-end project. And just because they don't have a lot of games out yet means absolutely nothing. I want to show you who's behind this project if you're not aware of it. He was the founder of EA Sports. The founder of EA Sports. Not just somebody who worked at EA Sports. This is the founder of EA Sports. One of the largest uh, gaming tech companies in the world. This guy has some of the most gaming experience on the planet. Uh, and it's Trip Hawkins. If you read this... Uh, bio here about him from bloomberg.com trip hawkins is a silicon valley serial entrepreneur producer designer and video game industry guru he is the best he is best known as the founder and first ceo of electronic arts ea and driving force behind ea sports producing hit games like madden football which i played as a kid uh so he's, he's been in this industry for for decades literally uh, Tripp is the recipient of numerous awards, including introduction to the Digital Hall of Fame and the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame. Having worked closely with Apple's founders for four years, Tripp helped grow it to a Fortune 500 company. Harvard magna cum laude graduate with an MBA from Stanford, Tripp has also served as a professor of entrepreneurship and leadership at the industry of california trip hawkins is now also the co-founder and chief chief strategy strategy officer at games for a living gfal where he intends to drive the blockchain technology massive potential into the world of gaming i guess the ceo is man man of sort that's right so man of sort is the ceo and trip trip is the uh he's like the co-founder and chief strategy officer man of sort is the ceo and he's got a lot of experience as well uh with gaming, so uh, he he was with uh, Activision Blizzard Entertainment and stuff like that. So uh, King Games, uh, you know, all should know King Games from mobile games on the mobile app store. So these are huge players in the in the gaming industry. These aren't small time gaming professionals that are in this project. So anyone out there saying that this project is a scam or fake or doesn't have a game, you haven't done a five minutes of research on this thing. I'll tell you right now, this is going to be uh, probably a multi-billion dollar project. And at a $10 million market cap right now, it's an absolute steal. Um, now it's high risk, of course. You don't wanna like go all in on any micro cap because something, something could go wrong. You know, you just don't know what's gonna happen, you know, if for some reason their game's a flop or something. But I mean, it is a gaming platform. That's a nice thing about, that's why I try to do videos on gaming platforms, not just games. Like there's certain crypto projects out there that are just a game, not, you know, this is a gaming platform. So they're gonna be having multiple games. And they're launching this Elemental Raiders on Xbox. They're launching it on uh, PlayStation. 
They're launching it on the Apple Store. They're launching it on the uh, the uh, Google Play Store. They're launching it on on PC, and I think I think they're even launching it on uh, Steam, if I remember correctly. So it's going to be on all these platforms. Just their first their first major game. So they're 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 doing the right things to make sure that this launches uh, with a big bang. This probably will be the biggest Web3 game as of right now with everything that they're doing launching on all these platforms. And there's already GFAL game cards out there. Like if you go to the store and you see these Xbox uh, gaming cards or uh, Microsoft gaming cards, GFAL gaming cards are already out. If anyone thinks this is a scam project, you better think again. That's all I got to say. Uh, so we'll go to the price here. I'll give you my price predictions on this one. Currently at 1.6 cents, and that's with an 11 million market cap. Now we are going to have more coins come into the circulation between now and the bull run, so we have to keep that in mind. It's going to dilute the value. The fully diluted evaluation is about 160 million currently. I think about half of the tokens are going to be in circulation around the bull run, if I remember correctly. That's going to put it currently at 80 billion fully diluted market evaluation by the time the the bull runs there if you had half of the tokens in circulation so half diluted valuation would be 80 80 million at its current uh price i think it said billion 80 million at its current price so if you take that let's say you can pick this up again and you get lucky and you pick this up around one cent that would bring it down to around a 50 to 60 million dollar evaluation a 10x from that is going to be uh, around five to six hundred million dollars if you could pick it up at one cent from its current price at an 80 million dollar uh, half evaluation you know you're you're looking at about an 800 uh, million market cap in the next bull run wouldn't be a 10x I think it's going to easily hit that I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the billions likely so if it if it did you know four four billion for example um, I'm thinking that's kind of top end where, where it can end up. It could end up higher than that. But if it got up to four billion, I'm thinking the price is gonna be close to like a 50X from here, because that would be five times that 10X value of 800 million. So a 50X from here, I think we'll put this around 80 cents in the next bull run. And I've been kind of estimating this one between 50 cents on the low end and $2.50 on the high end. If it got up to two dollars and fifty cents, you know, you're talking into the tens of billions of dollars. That's possible because I think Gala people were saying that it hit around uh, thirteen billion true market cap in the last bull run. So if this one got up into that range, it would it would put it up somewhere around that price range. Yeah, so you know, around eighty cents would put this around a four or five uh, billion dollar market cap, which is possible. Uh, if it got up to like fifteen billion, that's going to three x that and put it over two dollars per GFAL token. I think that would be on the extreme high end. Uh, if it did really crazy and got a blow off top, now some of the other games did get up to the billions without a working project and without a team behind them like this. This is going into the bull run with a working project and an excellent team that has major uh, major connections in the gaming space and already has a game card and stuff out there launching in all these platforms. The possibility is there and I'm not saying that you should wait for you know two dollars or anything to start dollar cost averaging out on this one. I'm going to take profits out on the way up and be a smart investor. I'm not going to wait for one dollar or two dollars to take out my money. If I'm buying this at 1.6 cents I'm going to start probably taking profits out around 25 cents on this one and if you took out you know 20 percent at you know even at 25 cents you're you're more than doubling you're probably tripling your original investment or more on that so just kind of keep that in mind you want to take out profits on the way up so you're in profit that way you're playing with house money at that point and you don't get burned by waiting for a certain dollar amount and then we get a big correction in the market and and you're now you're now you're down you know lower than what you were and now you're thinking it's going to recover and it may or may not you just don't know so make sure you take profits out in increments on the way up and don't wait for you know specific price targets necessarily so that's my that's my information for for people out there that are new because i see a lot of people out there 
you know, I, I just had somebody comment on one of my videos that they're not taking any profits on HBAR until $4. I mean, I don't understand that mentality. If you th really believe HBAR is going to hit $4, that's fine. But start taking profits out when you're at a 10x on your investment. Like take out 10 or 10 or 20%. And then if it goes up another, you know, certain amount, like another 20 cents, 25 cents or something, take out a little, a little bit more. Because you don't know if H bar is going to hit, you know, $4 or whatever. Same with this one. Don't wait for a dollar or $2. You're getting this at a penny and a half. You better start taking some serious profits if it gets up to 25 cents. Because crypto... Crypto will turn around and, and crap all over you in the bull run and you'll be, you know, and, and literally overnight you'll wake up and you'll be like, what the heck happened? And it's just all these people taking profits that were smart and it just dumps the price. So keep that in mind, guys. Don't don't be stuck holding the bag. Make sure you take your profits out. I appreciate it, guys. I would love to hear in the comments below what you guys think of GFAL. If you think it's a scam, I don't even want to hear that in my channel because... I mean, I've just proven to you here the team behind this. If you think GFAL is a scam, you obviously don't even know what you're talking about. So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but uh, I'd love to hear you guys' price predictions for GFAL in the comment section below and what you think it's going to do. And let me know. I do actually have the vesting scheduled for this one. I got it saved on my phone, so I'll have to check it. I believe it's like 2% per month, and they're releasing the tokens, I think, on this one every... 13th of the month is what it is. So over a 48 month vesting period, I think is what it ended up being if I remember correctly. But uh, that's pretty much all I've got for this video, guys. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. Tell me what you